Hey, how's it going? I'm Charlie. I am Jean. Thanks for tuning in to Multicast Keen. Yes. Uh, today, Jean, you. we're going to continue down that Blue Note trail. Yay, we like Blue Note. We do like Blue Note. We've had really good luck with some Blue Notes. Yes. If I can get my chair all the way up here. Uh, today, we're doing the Crossroads, the Crossroads. French, toasted French oak. 50% uh, ABV, 100 proof. This is a MGP juice mm -hmm. from b and Distillery. Uh, mash bill, 60% corn. 36% rye, 4% malted barley. Just a little bit of malted barley. Just a touch. Just a little in there. Just to see if you like it. Just a tip. Just a touch. <laughs> hey, uh, while you're here, subscribe. Hit the thumbs up for us. Appreciate that about you. Yeah. Uh, we do a lot of different whiskey reviews. A gene here just went to a Bourbon Expo, and we got some reviews coming up of that. Yeah, stay tuned. Neat stuff. What you get on the nose there, Gene Mulry? So this is like, I just, I just got a big old can of almonds, and I just mm. opened the lid for the first time, pulled back that foil. Mm -mm -mm. Anytime I get a French uh, French oak uh, finish, French oak aged uh, bourbon, um, this is a straight, we don't have an age statement, but we know it's at least four years, um, just because it doesn't have an age statement on it. Um, but I get like a brandy note, kind of like a, a burnt brandy of some sort. I get that on okay. a lot of French oaks. Burnt brandy, all right. Um, if I put my nose up in here, like I am, as there one is uh, some a little bit of milk chocolate and spearmint. Okay, right as I was taking that, hit, set that down, I got the milk chocolate. I get, there's, the rye is coming through on the nose, that spearmint. A um, little bit of dirt. I wonder how long they finished Airy, it. Airy, dusty. Food. Huh? So I wonder how long they finished it. I did. I thought you were done talking. I apologize for the interruptions of my witticisms. Oh, I'm done now. <laughs> I'm so done. You, you're done. Yeah, done. It's kind of like if you took a a stave from a barrel and you. This is what I would think that if you're gonna take a barrel apart, I guess is my point. You want to smell that stave. This feels like a fresh stave. Kind of like a oak in Eden, where they put the, the stave inside the oh, bottle. Okay, right. What those staves taste or smell like very often. Yeah. There's some wild berries. Yes, yes. Wild berries up in Preach. here. I'm going to have a go in. Have a go in. It, it is oaky, but it's not oaky, say, like an Evan Williams uh, white level. It's not kind of that to that level of oakiness, but it is, it is oaky, just a different style. Your eyes are watering there a little bit. Mm. Are they? Mm-hmm. So are yours. Hmm. Well, maybe mm. I ate a glazed it's donut. It's allergy season for me. Uh, for, um, but not for anyone else. Just for her. The oak, <laughs> the oak is coming through with the peppers, and but there's the bourbon. There's strong bourbon flavors mm. there. With a and the back end is the spearmint and the rice coming up. Wow. A little bit of cinnamon. Mm. Yeah, everything you just said, I would add butter, I would add cream. Mm. Um, there is a bit of a, a tang to it that I can easily recognize as being the French oak. There's a tang. Um, yeah, it opens up nice and creamy with that tanginess there. Transitions into a lemon pepper butter uh, with cream, nice caramels or caramels depending on who you are. Uh, it could be caramel, caramel could be could caramel. Be. A twinge of chocolate, you nailed it with the cinnamon, nailed it with the mixed berries, and the finish is a caramel sugar popcorn. For my, for me, for my finish, I am in the middle of a great big bowl of cinnamon toast crunch. Mm. Is where I'm at on my finish. Mm. That that grainy cereal part and the cinnamon and the sugar and the, oh my goodness, the caramel. This is not lacking in flavor. This is robust with flavor. This is heavy with flavor. Uh, you're not struggling at all to find the notes here. They, they're, they're, they're pu it's punching the face with flavor. Yeah. And Blue Note, they know how to do it. That was my next thing. Now, this is MGP juice, but it's mm -hmm. bottled and produced at by b and R Distillery. And they do so, we, we've had some great luck with, with their whiskeys. That's true. It was great luck. They, they have, we have yet to have one we don't want. We want I think we've had four. So, b and R Distillery, send us more samples. I do like blue notes. Oh yeah. Water didn't really do too much, but now I'm like, this is gonna be a weird note. I get a little bit of a, a chunky peanut butter. 
I think it's mostly because of the almonds and the butter combined. It's not peanut butter per so se, like peanut butter. butter. Like almond Maybe butter. Maybe almond butter. Yeah. The rye is now coming out for me on the nose with some baking spices, which it wasn't there before. So you can tell without water, you can tell the rye was there on the mid palate. With mm. a touch of clove and spearmint. That spearmint is just woke up. It's woke. You get woke with the spearmint. <laughs> You mm. woke. Mm. 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 And I like that they're experimenting with different things. Um, I would like to see a blue note and maybe a brandy cask, a Maldura cask. Um, yeah, I'd like to see uh, one of those bad boys there. What you doing over there, Gene? You doing some huggies? What are you doing? 90, okay. This is almost a 90 for me right now. Yeah. This side of 89. It was a between 89 and 90 for me. Yeah. But um, that finish is just, I like it's it. It's got a nice finish. Well, this I is something like that would satisfy, if, you, if you're sitting by the fire, but you don't want to do a peated something, this is a good one to sit by the fire. It doesn't have smoky notes per se, but it does have that richness of the wood in there. Well, and it's not off-putting. Mm -hmm. uh, what'd you pay for it? This is the fun part. Oh, wow. $40. Really? Yeah. I'll take it. Yeah. I'll take it. And it's kosher. Oh yeah, it is kosher. Kosher. It is kosher. Kosher. Ah, that's kosher. I don't know what that means. It means that it's been prepared with the laws of kosherness. Okay. Look it up. You'll figure it out. <laughs> we don't do the research so you get to and you're welcome. You're welcome. Anything to add, Jean? Nothing else to add. And remember, the more she drinks, the better you look. Mm -hmm. Shh, into Fill me up. <laughs> I'm Charlie. <laughs> and I'm Jean. And I hope you are just as thirsty as we are.